Troy Kearns, real estate investor, bringing it to you from my Las Vegas office. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about how you can lower your property taxes, whether you are an investor or whether you own your own home, you always wanna know that there's two things that are always true in life death and taxes and property taxes are one of the biggest expenses that if you can reduce and or eliminate them in their entirety you are going to make thousands hundreds of thousands of dollars millions of dollars over the lifetime if you know how to reduce your property taxes. And I might know a thing or two about property taxes because I own hundreds of properties, over 350 properties. My name is Troy Kearns. I started investing about 12 years ago heavily. I've been investing since 2004, but I really didn't know what the hell I was doing till about five years ago, really, really, really. And since then I've taken off and I'm really going for it now. And my hope is that you too can become financially free. You can become a millionaire in five years or less simply by binge watching all of my YouTube videos on how to become real estate wealthy. Let's get into it. All right, so property taxes in real estate are the absolute one thing that you always have to pay, okay? there's It's frustrating. I can tell you on one of my properties in Mississippi, my tax bill is $50,000 per year. That's 4,100, 4,200 and change per month for one property that goes to the local city for taxes and that sucks. So you wanna figure out how do I reduce these things? How does it matter? How can I get a hold? What control do I have? What ways am I gonna be able to reduce these taxes? Property taxes are taxes that you pay for the privilege of owning real estate in a jurisdiction. They can be based on the value of the property or all sorts of other intangibles that you don't even know about, like personal property tax. They're a way that they're gonna get money from you from buying properties and if you don't pay them you will lose your property so it's one thing that you don't want to mess around with and that you definitely want to lower if you can you need to understand that your property taxes are the thing that you have to pay first you don't really own your property you have the right to control that property but if you don't pay those property taxes you're going to find out that the county city or state owns that property if you don't pay those taxes. So the first way that you can eliminate or reduce your property taxes is to apply for an appeal of what those property taxes are. There's two factors that are used to determine what your taxes are going to be. And that's the value of the property that's usually determined by the county assessor and the tax rate, which is set by the government or generally the state. So they multiply a tax rate by the tax value, which is gonna give you what your property tax is. And then it's gonna, based on what category of property you have, because certain properties, certain municipalities, certain things are taxed at a higher rate than say, agricultural land or industrial land, all of them have different tax rates based on whatever your government mandates, whatever technicalities that that jurisdiction has. But one thing that you're gonna wanna understand is hidden taxes, hidden property taxes, all sorts of taxes that affect your bottom line. But right now we're talking about how you can appeal your taxes, how you can apply for appeal and change your taxes. We are not gonna be able to change the tax rate, but you can challenge the value of the property and what it's worth. And that's how you apply 
to get it done. Now I know exactly how to do this because in Mississippi, I did this a long time ago and I was able to work with the county assessor and just applied for an appeal and I was able to get these done. And I can tell you there's big businesses that all they do is they work with large investors and they apply for appeals. In fact, one of my tenants who just gave me a notice, one of my tenants specializes in reducing people's taxes. So you can either hire someone to appeal your taxes or you can do it yourself, but you're gonna have to make a good argument. If you can bring them the details that they need and you can bring them justification why your property should be taxed at a lower rate, then you're gonna win your appeal and you're gonna reduce your taxes. By reducing your taxes, that's gonna increase your NOI, that's gonna increase your profit. If you don't have an NOI and you just have one house, it's going to increase your outlay on a monthly, annually, semi-quarterly, whatever basis you have, by reducing your taxes, by applying for a tax appeal, you have a shot of getting a reduction. You wanna compare your house, your building, your property to your neighbors, right? And you wanna find out what their tax rate is, and it's all public information, it's all out there. How many of you actually know, I'd like to know, do you know, yes or no, comment below, how much you're paying in taxes right now. Without looking at anything, how much are your property taxes on your primary residence? How much are your property taxes on your investment properties? Do you know? Make sure you comment below, because some people, they don't pay attention to how much money they're paying in taxes, and taxes will eat you alive. So you need to understand that the way to reduce that is the same way that you would comp out a property, right? And if you want to comp out a property, you got to find out, hey, what's this house gonna sell for so I can find out what my house is gonna sell for. Now, if you're looking to reduce your tax assessment, you wanna find out what they're assessing the other properties at. And you wanna find the ones that make sense for you, meaning they're lower, right? You don't wanna show them the ones that are higher, show them the ones that are lower. Present your case, build your case. You do not need to be honest, Abe, and show them everything on both sides. That is not what you're trying to do here. You are trying to present information that strengthens your case, okay? It's up to them for, to look for the other stuff. You simply want to present a reason of why your taxes should be lower, your neighbor's paying this, your other neighbor's paying this, your neighbor's paying this, and you're paying all this money, and you should be paying X. And one thing that you might want to know is you need to compare your house to your neighbors. Let's say, for example, your neighbor's house is in way better condition and they're taxed at a higher value than you are. You need to put that into your appeal for a tax reduction. Or if they have yours valued as more because it's got smaller square footage, but it's nicer, you need to use the side that's going to help you say, hey, you know what? I have a much smaller property than this one and don't even take condition into the situation. Whatever matters to them is how you're gonna present your case. And there's a million ways to do it, but basically what you're looking for is a reduction in your tax amount and you have that right to ask for it. You also need to check and see if you qualify for a tax relief program. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, Troy, I'm a real estate investor, or I'm a real estate wannabe investor, or I'm thinking about it, or I got hundreds of properties, I don't know, whatever your case is, why would anybody give me anything? Well, guess what? You know during COVID, they had all sorts of free money for landlords who got affected by missing rents. And you know what they also have? They have tax relief programs for just applying for them. They have extra money out there that someone else is gonna get that you need to apply for. There are tax credits available for you by just applying for them. So make sure that you find out if your property qualifies for any of them that you take advantage of all of them. Another great way to lower your taxes is to apply for a tax freeze. Yeah, I'm serious. You can freeze your taxes. If you've got a good enough cause, it's called a tax abatement. And the rich and the wealthy take all sorts of advantage of this all of the time. In fact, you may have heard about Donald Trump and the Commodore getting a 40 year 
tax abatement when he did his first deal at the age of 27. Or you may have not heard of Carl Icahn when he bought the Fountain Blue in Las Vegas, he applied for a tax abatement. So you definitely have room to apply for tax freezes if you're investing in local markets, especially if that local market needs investments. The worst thing you could do is get told no. The best thing that could happen is you get told yes, you save a ton of money, and you pay less taxes. Who the heck doesn't like that? One of the best ways, the easiest ways, and we're almost at the end, I'm so glad you have stayed to it, is to file for a homestead exemption. This is for an owner occupant. In New Orleans and in several states and in several cities, you can file for a homestead exemption and you will receive a reduction in your tax rate because it is your homestead. By filing for a homestead exemption, that simply means the following. They will reduce your tax rate or reduce your tax assessed value and you will get a huge savings because it's your homestead and you're claiming it as such and therefore that county that city that municipality that jurisdiction whatever it is is going to give you a reduction right away by just applying for it and you can do this like i said in many different counties in many different states generally speaking if it's your homestead you need to be living there at least six plus months out of the year. I know the rules, but I'm not a CPA. You always need to check with your CPA. You always need to check with your local laws and you always need to make sure you hit the like button. So do it. And listen, if you are looking to keep your tax rate down, you need to think before you build, okay? If you're looking to build a house, if you're looking to add on to a property, Find out what they're taxing on. Are they taxing on the pool? Are they taxing on the square footage? Are they taxing on personal property? Are they taxing on this? Are they taxing on that? When you build, understand what they're taxing on and make sure that you plan for it. And I'm glad you stayed till the end because I'm gonna tell you one of my biggest secrets that I have ever told on YouTube and you're about ready to get it right here. So this doesn't work everywhere and it doesn't work for everybody. But one thing that you can do is if you are a successful real estate investor and you do have a successful real estate company and you say, you know what? It's time to start a nonprofit. I'm starting a 5013C because I love dogs and I actually do love dogs. And I'm gonna save these puppies and I'm gonna help these animals. And you know what? Because a 5013C is a non-for-profit charitable activity. I am going to donate this house and all of the rent that goes to this house to my charity. So I would like you, Clark County in Nevada, to not tax my property because it's a charitable house where all the profits go Two, helping puppy dogs get new owners, and that is a strategy, and you never expected me to say this, but if you don't have a 5013C, you definitely need to understand that affordable housing is a 5013C activity. And by you being a landlord that just specializes in renting out property to low-income property, you may qualify for no property taxes. How do you like them apples so make sure you understand taxes you pay your taxes you look for tax loopholes and you follow me on all my socials subscribe to the channel share this video with a friend and definitely tell me what you're gonna do in our comments below peace